everyone welcome to brisk learn in today's session we are going to learn what is class a class is a blueprint or prototype from which objects are created first let us see the syntax of a class the first one indicates access specifiers which is public and class is a keyword class name is the name which you are going to provide and curly open brace indicates begin of class and curly op closing indicates end of class and in between a class you can provide variables which define state and methods which define behavior so a java class contains methods and variables let us take a bank example and have a look from the customer perspective and this is the customer and let us find his requirements customer id and customer name password account id branch and amount these are the things required for a customer from these requirements we can identify two classes mainly one is the customer class and the other is account class let us see the customer class public is the access specifier class is a keyword and customer is the class name open curly brace indicates begin of class and closing curly brace indicates end of class in between a class you can provide only variables and methods here customer id username password or variables and get customer id set customer id get username set username get password set password or methods let us see another example of a class which is account class account class has variables account number branch status amount and methods get amount set amount get account number get account number sorry set account number get branch set branch get status and set status so going back to the definition of a class a class is a blueprint or prototype what does this mean if we look into the customer and account class it doesn't contain a main method that means we can't execute or move forward with these particular classes so these classes are just a prototype which contains what are the required things like account number branch status and amount so a class is just a prototype or we can say a template or a blueprint is just a prototype required like what things are necessary for this class so when we say what is a class a class is a blueprint or prototype or template okay now let us discuss about best practices to be used in real time for a class how do you identify a class we identify a class in design time by identifying the nouns provided in the requirement document okay and second class name must begin with an alphabet and first alphabet must be capital letter in this example account let's focus on the alphabet a the first letter must be alphabet and capital letter and maximum line length must be 80 characters it means if you are trying to give a statement like system dot out dot print tell and and a big statement but you need to break that statement and the statement must be 80 characters it must not be not more than that as per the coding conversions and for this maximum line in a code as per java is 2000 but it's good if you reduce to 1000 lines and fifth is fields must start with a small letter in mixed case the second must start with a capital letter 
example customer id customer id starts with a small letter and if you focus on the alphabet i id i is capital that means the second word starts with capital letter and the methods also follow the same first starts with a small letter and the second word starts with a capital letter as this is also called as camel case but as part of fields if it is a final field it's different a all the alphabets must be in capital letter so we can cover those letter as part of the account amount is an variable which starts with a small letter and get amount is a method it starts with a small letter and second word is is starting with a capital letter okay which is called as camel case and file name and class name must be the same it means account is in class and the file name must be account.java and eighth if the parameter name and the instance name parameter name here indicates the local variable or same you can distinguish it with this operator as part of the example customer id private int customer id is an instance variable and as part of set customer id method you can have a look on the parameter int customer id it means it's a local variable the local variable and the instance variable are same both are customer id but how do we differentiate whether it's an instance variable or a local variable you can identify or distinguish with this operator this dot customer id is equal to customer id and coming to the comments it's it's a very best practices and also a coding conversion to provide java docs as a comment like what's the purpose of the class who is the author of the class and what is the version and since when and many of us get confusion between since and version let us take an example of string builder string builder was introduced as part of java 5 that is 1.5 so at since will be 1.5 and at version can be anything it can be 1.8 1.9 etc based on the versioning but since will be the introduction when they have introduced since 1.5 string builder has introduced so please don't confuse between at since and at version okay and there are other tags like at return at params at throws and at deprecate which are mainly for method level like what is the return type of a method what are the parameters of a method and what exception it has thrown or whether the method is deprecated or not you can Uh, use those tags so comments are important as part of best practices that's it for this session thank you all please leave your queries or suggestion in the comment section if you are interested you may post your article in brisklearn.com that's it bye